bit about the Artemis XO. It's a full body, full powered exoskeleton, runs on lithium ion batteries, single battery charge, will do up to eight hours of use. Uh, they are hot swappable. The way that we're able to do that is the exoskeleton that you see here and the tasks that Jim will be conducting are using uh, less than 500 watts. However fast you can move, it can move faster to help stabilize you if need be. Um, and when you're walking around, it's a very natural feel. So it's not so much you have to learn the exoskeleton, but it moves with you. Whatever you want to do, it's going to maneuver in the same in the same way. Right? So if you want to dance, you can dance in it, you know, and then you can operate in a very natural manner. So it's, it's very easy to use uh, and it's also uh, very light on the person. And with the exoskeleton, we're going to turn up to a 20 to 1 ratio. Uh, so I put in one part and it'll do 20 parts. Uh, so that reduces the load a lot. So it feels uh, almost like a couple cereal boxes, right? It's it's not very heavy at all, really. Um, it, it does all the work for you, uh, both in lifting and maneuvering. And when things are, you know, kind of moving around on the arms, you really don't feel that inertia because you know the robot is doing all the work for you. So any any time it moves, you can just stabilize it very easily. Good morning, I'm Jim Miller. I'm uh, vice president for Defense Solutions at Sarcos. Uh, I joined the company at the end of or the first of August this year after serving 29 years in the military. My last job, I was in the Army in the Special Operations Community. I was a Green Beret. My last job in the military was at Special Operations Command where I was working on a research and development project called Talos. So we were working on trying to build the Iron Man a suit that had a derived engineering task of having exoskeleton to stabilize or provide lift to excessive weight and high heat armor. So I became familiar with not only technology innovation or R&D, but in particular exoskeletons and the variety of exoskeletons that are out there for different purposes. From the left side of the spectrum, on the medical side where you're just getting mobility to bring back, or even safety for an individual that has a degraded gait, altered gait, or can't use their legs, and legs actuated can't help give that mobility to them. Move towards the center where you have logistics work for load-bearing exoskeletons. Just shy of that might be an exoskeleton that is providing just human performance, helping a joint, helping a knee flex so you can go uphill, helping an ankle flex so you can go faster and longer when you're running. What this exoskeleton is doing, and it's the only one that's been able to uh, overcome many of the engineering challenges of size, weight, and power, is, is a load-bearing exoskeleton, which means all the weight of the mechanism itself, the machine, plus the weight you're carrying is transferred to the ground. And through software and mechanical engineering, they've been, the company has been able to figure out how to maintain your CG, your center gravity with your body, so you're constantly dialed in and transparent with the mechanism itself. So how I move, it moves with me and for me. If I lean back, I don't fall backwards because it knows it needs to keep me centered forward for my balance so I don't fall over. Normally, if you're moving around with 300 pounds of machine around you, you're gonna be offset and you're gonna feel encumbered and uneasy. I will tell you very honestly, not only me, I'm not as good a dancer as him, period, but he can get in this bad boy and dance and kick his legs up all around. In this confined space will kind of reduce that, um, but at the end of the day, I feel very comfortable just getting in this mechanism. It's great, it's fantastic. I would encourage you, if you have the opportunity, slide right to your left and get inside the experience on the right side and feel what it's like when you lift weight. I'm not gonna try to move fast while we're here on stage, but what we're gonna do is demonstrate uh, a delta, uh, kind of back, uh, Delta task that the maintenance crews provide. Delta's workforce below the wing is the backbone to their success and what they do uh, along with the folks that take care of the customers and people on the aircraft themselves. This is about lifting the weights for the suit goes on the work so you're not hurting yourself. So that gives you the ability to work longer, not just the hours of the day, longer weeks, years, doing heavy repetitive lift tasks. You lift 40 or 50 pounds every day three or five times a day, eventually your shoulders, your knees, your back is going to, are, are going to become injured. For you, for me, just here, understanding who I am, furthermore, I'm 51 years old, 
I have five knee, re uh, knee reconstructions in both knees. I have vertebrae issues down in my lower back and in my neck. I've got most of my shoulders repaired as well. And my right one separated about six months ago, and I'm waiting to blow that out completely. But I'm not feeling any major burdens right now. I've been doing this for at least two weeks, about four hours a day, and I'm fine. The only reason my back hurts at the end of the day is because I'm standing out in the audience watching you after I'm done doing this. And that's where the burden really is. So let's get to work. We're going to go over here. I'm going to pick up this force the torque multiplier. So the torque multiplier is, is about 60 pounds. I'm going to use this end effector tool. I'm going to hook it. You lift it up. We're going to set it. I'm going to step over to the shaft. I'm going to slide it on. Heavy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's that easy. All right. All right. So the really big thing about the exoskeleton is not only can you lift, and manage that way very comfortably, but now I've locked my arms in place. You can lock out the arms in any position. You can lock them out under the burden of weight. You can pick this up, lock it, and I can do work while it's hanging right here. Frankly, the robot likes that because it's working a lot less. When you clutch out, it's reducing the power consumption as well. So, my task, I'm going to step over. I am simulating, loosening the nut, and just keeping the fan blades on the shaft. Hands free. Okay, task complete. Now I gotta get the torque multiplier out of the way. Hook it. Lift it off. Step to the right. Slide it down onto the end pressure. That replaceable tool. It's at the end. Now, we are gonna lock out my arms again. I don't need the robot to help me move these eight pound fan blades. I'm going to slide them off, step to my right, make sure I don't bump anything, here we go. The robot, the Guardian XO, does all the work for you. It doesn't matter how strong you are. My mother could get in this and lift that 50 pound weight, put it in place, and continue the day without being injured. My arms are providing zero to no effort beyond what I would be doing when I do that movement like this anyway. Exercise, you can get a 20 to 1 strength ratio, so I put in one part and it comes with 20 parts. Right? So, you know, something like this tire that's 130 pounds is going to be like 20 times less than that. So it's very light. And so when I'm doing this task, I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to replace it. And if you blink, You'll miss it because I do it faster than any person could. So, you want me to, want me to show you guys? Yeah, I really like to do that. Well, like I said, don't blink because once I lift this thing, it's it's already going to be on there here in a sec. So, I mean, I lift it up, step back, and I'm going to pick it up, place it, and it's done. So, and this thing's 130 pounds. I could not lift that by myself. Honestly, and I, I especially couldn't, you know, try and place it like this, right? So that, so that was pretty amazing. So very fast. Can we, uh, can we show them the, the suit pieces? Yeah, yeah, please do. Okay, please do. So another thing that we have are these, uh, these tools, these end effectors, is what we call them. Um, we have quick, quick change end effectors so that you know I can press this and I can pull these off, right? And then I can swap them for these more kind of finger light end effectors. So, let me go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys. Get this arm a little bit closer. I'll show you. And uh, just like that. So it's very fast. It's all about it. Just with a 70 pound suitcase. And um, after the demo, you guys, I'll be putting them over there so you guys can, you know, try and lift them up for yourself, see how heavy they are. Um, and as you saw there, I just can lock the arm out, go into hands-free mode, and uh, do whatever I like. But so now I've lifted the suitcase, I'm just going to bring it over, place it right here, and voila. Just like that. Any inertia that's put on you is canceled out by our controllers, uh, even loads that you're picking up. So they're very easy to counterweight. So, so things that kind of slosh around like water uh, or suitcases like these are very easy to move, even though they're sticking around. So, um, any questions that uh, you have for Fletcher, just yell it out. He's uh, happy to chat with you. Yeah, and uh, let's let's go ahead and put the tire back down. So, 
get this lift quickly. It goes to the quick as he goes to the ground here. Grabs the tire, 130 pounds, right off the stanchion there. Able to set it right back down. He's able to adjust immediately to the weight as that weight comes onto the exoskeleton. Just like that. So it's an amazing machine. Uh, you guys really have to try it. Uh, that arm over there, uh, you can feel exactly what I feel when I'm lifting weights. It's very easy. It's honestly life changing to see how strong you can be. And the thing is, is it levels the playing field so that people of all sizes and strengths can lift the same amount. So, you know, no matter who you are, you'll be able to do the same work as anybody else. Because Wait a couple of seconds and try lifting. Is it heavy? Yeah. It's heavy. Great. Go ahead and put that back down by your hip. Let go. Put your hand up here. Do you feel stronger yet? You're gonna be very strong. All right, yeah. here we go. You're gonna be so strong that you don't have to think about lifting the weight anymore. Just a slow, light grip, and just move your hand. Wow. Wow, amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? How much do you think that weighs now? If it was 22 kilos before, how many kilos now? I, th I think I didn't bring anything. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, he's, he's not really lifting anything on his own. He's just moving his hand around, and it's following him naturally. That's what the Sarcos Guardian Exo does. First things first, we're going to prove you how heavy that is, all right? So just grab that handle, squeeze the trigger, give it a couple seconds to reset modes, and try to lift it up. No? Nope. Not going to do it. Yep. Uh, it's 50 pounds. Do you believe it? Do you believe that's 50 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Not 51? <laughs> Maybe 50 and a half. Okay. Uh, go ahead and take your hand off. Put your hand up here. And now we're going to make you stronger, all right? Okay. Seriously stronger. I don't think you understand how strong we're going to make you. All right. So don't think about lifting the weight anymore. Just think about moving your hand. So put your hand on there. Nice light grip. Squeeze the trigger. Keep it pulled. Just move your hand. How was that? That's nice. Yeah. That's easy. Absolutely. If you had to move heavy things around, would you rather do it this way or the, the previous way? This way, for sure. Absolutely. That's the empowerment from the Sarkos Guardian Exoskeleton. She couldn't lift this before, now she can lift it pretty easily, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's too heavy. It's a... Yeah. Could, could you hold it like this? No. No, he, he couldn't hold it like this. Okay, don't worry, we'll help you out. Oh my so, god. It's, it's hard, right? 22 yeah. kilos. All right, let go. Let's let go of your hand. Put it up here. All right. We're going to make you stronger, all right? I want to be good stronger. Okay. We're gonna help you out. Here we go. All you have to think about now is just moving your hand nice and slow, all right? So grab the handle, squeeze the trigger, wait a couple of seconds, and just move your hand. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like further. Yeah, it's like further. It's like nothing on my right hand. Can you believe that that's still 22 kilos, 50 pounds? Wow! So that's what the Sarkos Guardian Exoskeleton is all about, is empowering people to lift things in a wow kind of way, right? That's what we're excited about. Oh, this is about. huge. This is super. This is... Oh my gosh. Do you believe it now? I cannot believe it. You're a superhuman. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Dream come true. That's great. Right? Yeah, that's uh, nice. Thanks for Thank coming. He doesn't think he can get it here. He definitely thinks he can get it here. Maybe yeah. here. All right? Yeah. That's the range. You guys ready? You guys going to vote for him? All right? I want you guys to cheer when he gets past here. If he gets past here and if he gets past here. All right? Here we go. All right. Just grab that button. Here we go. Whoa. All right. Whoa. You're really strong. Nice. Give him a round of applause. That's really impressive. That's really impressive. That was just his own strength. All right. Now we're going to make you even stronger. All right? So keep your hand up here. Let's become Iron Man. Become Iron Man. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I want you guys to channel your strength into him, all right? Channel it, channel it. Watch it, watch it. All right. You're so strong. Don't think about lifting the weight. Just think okay. about moving your hand nice and slow, right? Okay. Light grip is all you need. Pull the trigger. Wow. Is that any easier? That's, that's not magic. Are you okay. Iron Man? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course he's Iron Man. We found him. We found Iron Man. Excellent, excellent. Wow. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to show you something. You're not doing any any real lifting here. I want you to hold it with just your finger and your thumb. Yep, and lift it up. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> Can you believe that you're doing that? Do you feel like you're in control? Is it natural motion? Yes, yeah, it's, like it's like a mattress feel. It's a, it's a really in the 
Wow. That's right, nice work. That's what the Sarcos Guardian Exoskeleton is all about. It's that kind of empowerment uh, across the entire human body, and we're really excited to be working with Delta to empower their employees. <laughs> that's, that's actually impressive. Okay. Uh, Nat, may I say a few words? Voilà, donc maintenant grâce aux exosquelettes, plus d'efforts du tout pour porter les valises et surtout pour les employés qui manipulent toute la journée des charges lourdes, plus de problème. You don't have to try. You're gonna pull the trigger and then just move really, really slowly. <laughs> and you can even just do it with finger. You can, uh, yeah. Now try and pull it out in front of you. So it's 50 pounds. And that's half of what this one arm can do. So if you take your hand all the way off, we'll turn it on. And uh, this time, um, pull the trigger and just really slow. And so how much do you feel? Nothing. Nothing, yeah. It should feel like, you know, between nothing and one pound. Yeah, and now just push it out and push the whole thing out. You can try and curl it, the elbow's pretty difficult. Yeah. Getting an elbow bent is pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so if you let go and take your hand all the way off, yeah, then we can turn it on. So, this exoskeleton, the amplification is 20 or 25 to 1. So your 50 pound suitcase is going to feel between 0 and 2 pounds. Very, very light. So be very, very gentle. Okay. Especially since you just tried really hard. <laughs> uh -huh. So, so ready now? pull the trigger. And then wait for a sec. And now just move your hand. Wow. And so the more gentle you are with your grip, the more naturally it'll kind of follow what you're doing. And we've actually got safety limitations on this one, so you can't go too high okay. and stuff like that. Um, you can't twist your wrists. Those ones can twist, go as far as you want. They do everything. It worked! Nice work! Alright, here we go. Great. Do you feel stronger? Yeah. How light does that feel? Superhuman? Like a superhuman, exactly. So that's 50 pounds, 22 kilos still, and you don't feel any of that, do you? Go ahead and pull that trigger. Wait a couple seconds. Think. That's so, really, really heavy. I, yeah, is that really heavy? I've been working out. So you can I can tell. Yeah, nice work, nice work. Okay, so, what did you feel there? And nothing. Yeah. <laughs> did that surprise you? Yes. Mission accomplished. Okay, so now we're going to bring you back, just so you can tell that that's a real weight, okay? And go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's different? What's different? It's heavy. It's heavy? How yeah. much do you think it weighs? That's a good bale of hay. I'm going to say good 50, bale of hay. 50 pounds. Nailed it. 50 pounds, <laughs> bale of hay. This guy is finely tuned machine. No effort. That's right. That's the Sarcos Guardian XO. I am Kevin Morris from the FAA here at CES 2020, where technology is all about improving people's lives. And perhaps no better example of that is the Delta Airlines demonstration of the Sarcos exoskeleton suit, which will allow their employees to have superhuman strength, lifting up to 200 pounds for eight hours a day, improving workforce efficiency and safety.